Hello everyone, today we are going to create music application. So we have a button start, pause and stop. So pressing pause will put music on pause. Uh, when you press start, we restart music with the same position. And finally stop will stop the music. So if you start music again, it will be started again from the beginning. So we have a basic activity main XML with Hello World which should be deleted. And we have to drag and drop three buttons. Let's think about the button one somewhere here. Second button will be in the middle and one more button will be on the low area. So the first button will, uh, should start the music. Uh, so we have to change the text for the button start. So the middle button will be pausing the music. So it will be pause. And finally we have to stop the music. So um, in this application we don't really care about ID of the button. Normally we do, but uh, in this application we do not do it. So one of the things I would like to do, I would like to change the ground for this layout. So what I will do, um, for example, I want uh, this music PNG will be as my background for this application. So I need to bring music PNG to a drawable folder. So in my previous video, I already show you how to do it. Right click, copy, come to drawable folder, Right click and paste and press OK. So let's apply uh, this music PNG as a background to the current layout. So double click on the layout and uh, you have to view all properties in order to see all kind of properties that we are interested in this case. So we need right now background property. Press on three dots and select from drawable options music file and you see how easy to apply new background so the second uh, stage it will be bring actually music that you want to play right uh, this mu music file this is uh, actually the song from thieves harmony work from home which we are doing right now so i want to bring this music to as resource to this to this project so before bring we have to create a raw folder this raw folder will be the directory where we keep our uh, raw resources. So in this case we have to select new Android resource directory and the resource type will be raw. So in this case directory name will be raw, uh, just default name for the resource for raw type and press OK. So again, uh, we supposed to be move this file to this folder. It looks like we cannot do like this. So what we will do, right click on the file mp3 and copy and right click on raw folder and paste. Right now I'm going to change the name of the file first of all because I have a blanks here. So I don't think it would be a good idea to keep this blank. So I will delete Thieves Harmony and just leave it the file as a work from home without any blanks. So right now we have all resources ready. We need to implement button start, pause and stop. So the best idea to start assign method to those buttons and for example for the button on start I will assign method on music start for the button on pause uh, I want to sign on music pause and finally for the button stop will be on music stop so um, in this case right now uh, because I'm lazy I don't want to type them in activity so main activity 
just empty right now. I want all this stream matter to be uh, added to the activity. So how to do it? So switch to the layout XML and do one trick that I show already in my previous video. So just wait for this bulb and press button for the method again. Press on the second button on click property. Wait for this bulb. Press create, create on music pause view. It will be added here. And finally, the last method the same. All right, so we have a three method right now. We need to implement them. We have to create a media player project for this uh, program. So we will uh, normally assign ID in on create. But I will tell you why I am using this today in different place a little bit. So I want to assign media player resource uh, using media player create method. So this will be uh, the first prompt. Uh, the first argument is a context and the second argument is a resource from raw folder. So we have to type raw dot uh, and the name is work from home. It's only one resource I have currently in a raw folder. So once I attach it, I can basically start playing player. So what I will do for the rest of the method, uh, for the pause, I will pause the music because it's pretty much straightforward. And for stop, I need to stop the music. And we can try to run this right now. Pause. Start again. Start music from the position when we stop. We restart in music. This is what um, we have to fix it. Because it looks like a pause works, but initially because the player is uh, in this case uh, connected uh, initially every time when you press the button, so we have to rewrite this. And uh, we also can test stop button. Looks like we have a problem, we don't have a problem with the stop button, we have a small problem with uh, pause button, right? So let's fix this. So we will uh, fix it in this way. So we will create new player only if if uh, if the media player is now. So we will check if media player is now. So we will actually complete this initialization and basically we will start from the beginning. So the method will start will should automatically pick up location after on pause. So that was the reason why I put uh, initialization to on music start. And when you put music on stop, we will put player to now. In this case, when you stop the music, the on music start button will uh, reinitialize the player again with the create method and start music from the beginning. So let's uh, test again. It should work better. Let's start. Yeah, it works perfectly right now. So in this case, we do we do not restart music after pause. And now we press stop. So after pressing stop, we assuming media player is now and start will restart music again. <laughs> 